Town and welcome to Glossop. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for coming. Why are you here? I'm here today uh, to talk about a school library that I built in my daughter's primary school over in Liverpool. But the connection is a little bit tighter than that. It's because uh, Steve and Anne, who, oh, who are part owners and, and the inspiration behind George Street Books here, well, I've known them for many, many years. Uh, I used to go and watch Steve's band, the 16 Tambourines, all the time. And I still do, <laughs> when he gigs. And so when he asked me to come over and do a chat in his bookshop about my book library, I couldn't say no, really. He came to prominence, you see, as, de as a little scally, David Grant <laughs> in Brookside. And then he went on to do travel shows, football shows. It even ran Fraggle Rock for a while, which is, I would say, his major achievement. <laughs> uh, he was on Coddy recently, it was amazing. And now he's on doing Find It, Fix It, Flog It. I'm glad I said that properly. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the Great House giveaway. But today he's going to tell us about this unique school library uh, that he designed. So please welcome Simon the Prime. I mean, the bookshop, the bookshop has got such a nice vibe, you know, you can, you can tell immediately that it's community owned because it just has, it kind of embraces you when you, when you walk in. And everyone, like, asked tricky questions, they were far too clever for me, but seem generally to, be, to, to, to really enjoy the, the talk and to be quite inspired by, by, by the building itself. But also, I think it surprised a lot of people because a lot of the old generation immediately think that primary schools have libraries and sadly in a lot of cases that that is simply not right and so and i think it's a disgrace really it's because none of them knew that we were building this thing they all just came back after summer holidays and this thing had just arrived mm. and the announcement we give to all the kids every year when they still arrive at school is, is that a friendly giant would be walking past mm. and you realize <laughs> the school didn't have a library so they so he left the book and we then borrowed into the container <laughs> and turned it into a library and <laughs> yeah. Do you have a message for the people of Glossop? Yeah, the message for the people of Glossop is uh, support George Free Books. These are the places that keep your community alive. And every single day you're walking past, get a book from in here because like a lot of the independent businesses around here, these are the heart of your community. And also support Anne because Anne wants one of our libraries in her school. So who knows, one day a giant might be passing. Excuse me, in my defence, in my defence the other day said, you got a projector? <laughs> I was like, no, I'm got a projector. I'm trying to find one. I've got one. And that, talk, that, that's what we're going to talk about. We're to talk about a library. That's what we're going to have. We phone round. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the next one. Look, have you seen that one? Look.